hi and welcome to terrain tutorial I just want to demonstrate how the whole terrain look like with the third person controller that I have on board so I'm just gonna move him so let's click and let him move there we go and there he goes so that's the whole idea of the terrain is just to get the third person to just walk around the terrain there. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys into unity development environment and you will see how I've managed to put this terrain together so let's do that now guys hi guys and this a terrain tutorial first off let's go straight to windows here just to download some assets so I'm going to select package manager click on that and right in there I'm going just going to enter terrain there we go we see different types of terrain there but I may have to I'm going to have to set to for terrain tools samples so click on import you're going to have to click, click on import twice now click on import again right there there we go and right there that's the terrain tool sample already added to my project area as you can see we have different asset and uh, different brush as well including layer and texture so the other asset that I'm going to need include as follows all sky free grass flower and the standard asset so I'm going to get those three assets and I will just pick that up to save time so let's just add all sky free in there and I'm going to speed up the process of that okay guys I've finished uploading all of the assets required so and there they are okay and if you want to have a good look at it there they are you can always add those to your own project there alright so let's go into creating a terrain now the first thing I'm going to do is right click on this area or you can always go straight to the hierarchy and let's select 3d and click on terrain there we go here comes the terrain and I'm just going to kind of like position the terrain properly so that you guys can see what I'm about to do and at the same time grab the game tag and there so with the game tab here you can see what's happening here. as you can see you see the terrain is not actually filling up the screen so let's come in here select main camera I mean and I'm gonna change that to 350 let's make it 350 okay 350 by I'm gonna make that approximately 140 there we go you might not be able to see it properly but the terrain kinda of like now fill up the screen alright so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna click on the terrain and let's go straight into the inspector here I will now select this very brush click on that very brush okay right here this drop down list you should be able to see different properties there and one other good thing is we have new options of brush that we can select so the one I'm going to be using is the raise all lower terrain okay make sure that it's selected and select any of these brush you want the choice is yours okay of whatever brush you intend to select uh, to use but as soon as you select the brush it's advisable you change the size of the brush as you can see I have about 174 in there so I can always reduce it the brush there and this brush is just the kind of like a star brush in there okay you can use that to just sculpt your terrain how you want or you can always change it maybe to this very one here one interesting thing about this very star is you can just use that you know to create jagged heels look at that okay so let's move that in and just create more let's just sculpt more of those jagged heels around yeah there we go guys so when you run it this is how it's going to look like you might not be able to see it properly maybe I should just turn off this light but uh, 
I'm running it for now. Let's just see. There, the jagged heels are over there. Okay, so let's continue with the sculpting of this very terrain. As you can see, the activate this inspector is off. So click on it to get it activated. And the other thing is we can always change the type of brush. This is another type here. It's kind of like soft looking brush and include increase the size of the brush to whatever you want and just the same thing just do the same thing sculpt it around the way you want and there I'm going to increase the size of this to something a little bit okay so that we can continue with the rest there we go guys and bring it down a little bit change the brush again and get some jagged edge looking terrain there all right now I'm going to add some of the smooth surface to it right increase that a little bit more and uh, maybe increase the opacity a little bit more yeah okay that is how it's looking now although you guys might not be able to see it properly but what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in here on okay let's go straight into but before i do that i'm going to run it i just want you guys to see how it's looking so we need to change this sky box so that we okay look at it that's how it's looking but let's change the sky box and that i will then go straight into window and let's select rendering and select lighting inside lighting i'm going to go to the environment this very one click on that and i might as well just change this sky box to something else this is the default so let's go up here maybe we can see something i'm gonna grab this or something to make it look a little bit dark and that should do so let's go back in here look at that it's already looking a little bit much better than what it was all right so run let's see it's coming up now there we go guys look at that oh let's do that again look at that guys you see the hills are now more pronounced that's why i kind of like use the triangular looking or the the star looking brush all right so that is it okay now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make see select this various terrain now go back to the act activate this inspector i will then select this very brush again now instead of using raise or lower terrain i'm going to drop this down and let's select paint texture once you select the paint texture, one of the properties that you guys would notice is terrain layer. I'm going to click on edit layer, edit terrain layer. The choice is yours if you want to add a layer or create a layer. So let's create a layer. So I've just clicked on the create a layer. So let's look for something that will be, maybe we settle for this rock albedo, this very one here okay so click on the rock albedo and just let go and that is it that is how it looks now with the rock albedo okay when we run it it's kind of like a little bit blend to the sky the way the skyline is looking all right that is fine so let's add a bit of grass to this or maybe we add trees let's add trees okay come in here make sure you activate the inspector again click on the tree that's the tree there as for the tree we should be able to get that inside the standard asset if you go double click on the standard asset you should be able to see the environment inside the environment we see speed trees and inside the speed tree we have bud leaves or uh, cornifly one of these two and we even have palm trees there as well so select that again and let's let's come in here and just make sure um, we've created a layer okay now select the trees and inside the trees edit trees we want to add trees 
there we go and I'm going to come in here tree prefab click on tree prefab and the one I need let's first of all let's go for this board okay and that is there right now so let's click on art there we go now that's about tree so we can always click on the max place tree we have about a thousand in there uh, ten thousand actually I'm going to make that about one thousand so that I can add some other type of trees there we go look at it that's one thousand trees on board the terrain now so let's run it and see how that's going to look like and there we go that's a thousand with a thousand trees that's how it's looking okay so let's close that let's stop running okay I'm going to change the angle of the camera let's select the camera a little bit and I'm going to kind of like make this about let's bring it in yeah that's it about 26 so if we run it now we should be able to see the trees at uh, an eye level okay that is good look at that so one one thing I'm going to now do is I'm now going to add let's add a character to this to make it look like it's walking around this is where we have the camera we have the camera at 420 26 one six one six one so let's go back to the project inside the project here uh, let's see we let's go to the standard assets inside the standard assets select character third person character and double click on the prefab and I'm just going to select this very one here third person grab the third person controller and just drop him right there I want it I want it to be where I can see it so let's see okay if we increase the size of this third person we should be able to see more I want to know where exactly is hiding seven seven okay I can see him now let's change that to seven and seven there that is him right there so let's move him to where we can see him yeah there we there we go right there and just moving down a bit whoops that's too much and there we go guys so when we run it we should be able to see this guy this third person so let me run it and see and we will also write a line of code so that the, the camera can follow him around so we'll be able to tour the terrain that is him so when I move around I cannot see where it's going so the best thing for us to do now is to grab some uh, codes so that we can use that to get it to know the exact location where it is okay before we go any further the other thing I like to do with this terrain is just to show you guys how to add the how to add uh, grass so make sure you select this very image there or icon and click on edit then select add grass texture now that add grass texture is selected right here detail texture click on that and let's look for grass that will kind of like blend into the environment I'm gonna get hold of this one okay now that that one is there I'm gonna reduce the height the maximum height to one the minimum height I'm gonna make that 0 0.5 0 0.5 that is fine and click on add so let's select a brush size we have about 100 but the speed of things and maybe I'll just leave that as 100 and just click somewhere here and you can see the grass is coming around him so that is good enough that is how you add your own grass if you want to go any further you can uh, take it further there we go guys and that's how you add your grass okay we've added some grass to it so if I run it now this is what you guys will see let's click on run and let's just see what's gonna happen there okay I'm moving around but uh, the camera is not following him around so let's do one thing so I'm gonna end it and let's add just two lines of code to make the camera follow it around or you can always place the camera inside him I think that would do as well but 
let's see the camera is inside the third person it's a child of the third person now let's see what's going to happen with that but i really don't like it that way i prefer to the camera to actually follow using lit yeah that is it all right it's following him you see that guys but another way around is when you use uh, just a few lines of code using late updates okay so that's one method that is one method okay the other method is using late updates so I'm going to move the camera back to its original position there we go the camera is now there now let's go back to the project right inside the project here okay select the asset right click on it and let's go to create and let's select create script and that script I'm going to call it camera controller there we go now make sure your camera controller is selected and let's go in here inside inspector click on open there that should open up the script then we can put one or two lines together okay now that the coding environment is ready first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create two variables one of them is going to be public and this public one is going to be a game object variable because I am going to be assigning the third person to it and this test person I can just call it runner okay that's fine that's his name and the next one is going to be a private variable this very private variable is going to be looking at the three axes that the the camera will be hanging around so let's just call that so I'm going to call this set set space there oh there we go set space okay so it's set space I'm going to say set space equals transform which is going to be the position of the camera dot position I will have to then subtract the position of the runner and that is the third person the one I call runner or you can just call it player but it's not playing anything it's just running around so runner dot transform dot transform dot position dot position there so I've subtracted the position of the runner or the third person from the position of the camera so right here I'm now going to use what is known as late update the function late update actually follow the the character around so I'm going to say transform okay transform dot position that is for the camera the camera to take in whatever result we have at the end of the day so that would be equals the runner dot transform and the space because when we subtract the runner from the position of the camera that's what we get and that is it we're now adding it at late updates okay so let's save that and go back to our script our development area okay now that we finished with the code we now need to add the code to the camera itself so I'm gonna come in here select the code and just drag it drop it on the main camera and that is all there is to it select the camera itself the main camera and come right to the inspector here and we will have set runner or that is the runner it's asking me who is the runner the runner is the third person controller drag that and just dump it right inside this variable there that is it all done so when I run it now what you guys should see is you should be able to see the camera following the third person controller okay let's see it's coming up there we go now you see that it's following the 
third person controller wherever he goes the camera follows okay i prefer this than the previous one where you just drag the camera straight into the third person yeah so one other thing that is left for us is just for us to change the clipping point of the camera itself okay let's come back in here and just stop the game and just change the clipping point make sure the camera is selected the clipping point is about okay it's near 0 0.3 I'm going to change it to 0 0.1 yeah I think that we do there and I'm going to run it now run there yeah, guys so we can just play around with it now all right and that is it so that's how you create your own terrain the whole purpose of the third person on it is so that uh, it can kind of like walk around the terrain and you guys just see how your your game or your terrain is looking that's the whole purpose of the third person and with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join this very channel as well to be a member as time goes on all right guys so this is my second channel i suppose you guys like this short video so bye for now